another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Always Sunny Season 7, Episode 13, the season finale. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Keep telling the algorithm to do what it does, because it's working. Thank you. All right, a couple of comments from the last episode, starting with Kali, who says, Charlie's underwear being so dirty, they are decaying, will never fail to make me laugh. When they were like, holy yeah. shit. It's <laughs> um, so true. All right, Wayward comes through to say, Ronald McDonald, ha ha, yeah, fucking Max name, like, what yeah. the hell? Uh, Walid, McDonald. or Walid, says, the next episode <clears throat> has one of my favorite scenes with Dennis after the implication scene in which we see a glimpse into who he really is. Ooh, the implication episode was fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm super hyped. All right, last mm. comments from Milk Steak, who says, seeing Charlie's brown stained underwear basically disintegrate was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Even the dude face was like, I can't, what the fuck? All right, let's get to episode, or let's get to the season seven finale right now. Well, this is great, D. This is just great. I used to be king of the mountaintop. Now I'm sitting alone at a table at my high school reunion with my sister. The Illumina Monster. Yeah, I know. I was on the mountaintop too, okay, Dennis? Gotta find a way back there. Gotta get a plan. Hold on. Hold on a second. Ingrid. Ingrid Nelson. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hi. Cheryl, babe. Dennis and D. And oh, from here Arrested you're on the clipboard, huh? Nork. Yeah, well, I'm on the Alumni Association. So. <laughs> He's gonna stroke out. Everybody, like, Did you see her? Drop it. Yeah, she just wasn't that. No, 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 D wants in on the freight train, we have to let her in on the freight train. D just has to do one thing. She's got to go through the freight train initiation. We got to know that D's one of us. So D, yeah. are you willing to go through the freight train initiation? Yes, I am. I am a grown woman! I am a grown woman! I mean... Wings, Tim. High school reunion? That's not the Oscars. Oh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and he can be a little too nice sometimes. Oh. Can get a bit boring. Oh, trust oh my God. Me, why why would you be straight up talking shit to your husband about your husband? Excuse me. Balls by battering ram. They have to have a conversation with the guy. You're crazy. Am I crazy? Am I? Yes. He deceives people, Christy. That's no. what he does. Oh, yeah. He steps on his friends to climb to the top of the mountaintop where his good friend used to reign supreme. That's what he does. I mean, quite frankly, Christy. I think you can do a lot better than him. No, he's good to me. Mm-hmm, yeah, but does he appreciate mm -hmm. you, honey? Christy, does he appreciate all of that? Dennis! <laughs> Baby's got back, Christy. Baby's got back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God! He's a psycho. Listen, listen, listen. I want to be listen. inside you. I want to do shit to you that is a liar. How about that, Christy? Yeah, stay with a liar. And a deceiver. You... Tim does not deserve to be the king of the mountaintop. I am the king of the mountaintop. Was Dennis oh, ever popular? Because it doesn't seem like he was. For everyone in this school, I am the golden god of this place. I reign supreme. I. I. Fucking psycho. He's a sociopath. Babe, babe he's so. He's a narcissist. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry we threw your back out, but you're lucky that's the worst thing that happened. And it's a lucky thing I brought the back brace. Oh, yes, lucky, so lucky. I'm feeling very, very lucky to have my asshole ripped in half like tissue paper by my father and his very good friends. And, and, and also, I'm feeling incredibly <sighs> lucky to be making another appearance as the Illuminate Monster. That Just go home. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't think you're going to get to bang Adriana now. Oh, no, you don't think so, Charlie? You don't think so? Yeah, 
Guys, this whole thing has been a wash. All right, let's just get out of here because there's no way that we're gonna get revenge. Deep should just go home. That's like a pee. Yeah. yeah. I've been humiliated enough. Yeah. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes, you're coming out hot. <laughs> I am the king of the minions, not Tim Murphy, not that jerk off idiot, hey, hey, jerk off! <laughs> it's what the hell are you do? What is he? She rejected me. Me, Frank, me, the coolest guy in the history of this goddamn school. Oh, they're all gonna pay. They're all gonna pay. <gasps> Whoa! Dude, what's all that stuff you're grabbing? Tools! Tools! This is my duct tape, zip ties, and gloves. The camera? I have to have my tools. Baby. Why is there like weird tools in a hidden compartment in your car? High functioning sociopaths are people with antisocial personality disorders. Though highly intelligent, charming, and charismatic, these personalities are characterized mainly by violent behaviors, lack of empathy or concern for others, total disregard of laws, regulations, lack of guilt or remorse, just to mention a few. Often they use their charismatic traits to manipulate people and get closer to them for their benefits. Though violent and powerful, High-functioning sociopaths have some fears. Fear of losing control. High-functioning sociopaths are very intelligent people, thus using this intelligence to manipulate people to their advantage. No matter what might happen, they never want to lose this control because it gives them a sense of superiority and relevance. Likewise, their identity is built around being able to control and manipulate things. Fetish, fetish shit! Fetish shit! I like to be bound! Baby. Psycho. <laughs>
Some people for Dennis to see where he's um if he has a random shed in the backyard somewhere. Mm -hmm. People um, locked in the basement. Somebody Definitely may be locked in his basement somewhere. If he's renting out a storage unit. Or he's town. got like a ranch house. Yeah, something or like a shed that. Shed. Yeah, because it's with a room. As a matter of fact, we might want to get that video camera that he had in and the head see department. what's see on what's going there. On with that. Yes. Um, because the man is off the chain. Crazy. Sociopath. Crazy. Narcissist. Psycho. Who has that in their car? Zip tie. And him raging, raging out. out. Like literally raging Never out. Never seen Dennis like that before. Holy hell. Ever. That is the he, implication. He has the whole Dexter toolkit. Without it, the Dexter grace. It's it's um it's a little disturbing. It's a thousand percent disturbing. So I like they gave us a little bit more insight on Dennis, which is hilarious. That he's a, and then I, I love how they tried to explain Dennis. You were not fucking cool in school at all. You just come around. He's, say he's, a, he's things, a narcissist and psycho. And, and yeah. the way he sees the world is yeah. not what's actually happening. He lives and in the world. And this is why it's even more creepy because he's like, they totally want this. Yeah. You know, like the girls that he's raping. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, they totally want this. I don't know this. if he's killing anybody, he's but killing he's, people. He's, he's definitely. They definitely kill people. He's definitely. <laughs> he's definitely he's, a, raping, he's a murderer. He's definitely for raping sure. Holden for a while. Um. Yeah, I like I like this sometimes. I like this sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> what? It's the fetish shit. Okay, I, I don't know, Dennis. That was, that was out there right there, boy. But it, it was good to see everybody's backstory of yeah, the gang is exactly what the gang was. They have always been this. Always gang. been. Yeah. Everybody, I'm glad they called them out on that. This was a this was a crazy episode right here. Good way to finish it up. Good dose of reality for us to mm -hmm. see what the gang always was and what they always will be. Uh, I think that was a necessary two-part episode right there for us to just get a backstory of who we're dealing with right here and why they are what they are. And we've had a lot of episodes to show everybody why they are what they are. And it makes sense. And this is just true real-life things about people that sometimes you just got a group of crazy motherfuckers that are just crazy. And these motherfuckers bite the cake for sure. Um, yeah, 
I loved it all for sure. Now, season seven was legit off the chain crazy. What are you doing in season eight? I, and you got so many other seasons like this. This is just, I, I just can't even imagine how far we go at this point. Because um, so, that was just a lot, a whole bunch. But I love it. Uh, this is one of my, my, my top hilarious episodes, I mean, shows right here. So this one had no mercy in the end, so I appreciate it all. So I cannot wait to see what season eight has in store. Um, I feel like you said all the things, all the things. I'll just echo or add on that I think uh, I think season six was really good, but the way season seven has been has elevated Crazy. it. It's like, and honestly, the progression of the reveal and uncovering of the psychopath that Dennis is, because <laughs> like it has progressively gotten more uh, worse. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, and like I think, and I don't know if this is a theme that continues beyond the season if this is constantly like pushing the envelope of who Dennis is and how crazy he is <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> I appreciate the fuck out of it I think it's entertaining it is revealing and I feel like uh, it, this is another show I think like with Euphoria I've said this too like if we went back and watched our season one episode or season one reactions and how we were like what the fuck is this show um and now we're just like push the envelope further like we're psychopaths okay? yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, we're, 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 we're more accepting yeah. of all the craziness too yeah. like we are corrupted people now yeah, we're trash people now. Yeah, yeah we suck as humans um but no it was a great uh it was a great uh, finale. It was a great second part. I like the second part better than the first part. Obviously, that the first part was really building. Yeah. Uh, I love the fact that all of them really. It's not just us. All of them had expected the dance routine to be. They thought everyone was eating. So all of them yeah. are crazy and, and psychopathic yeah. and delusional. Um, so I thought that was fantastic, though. That that's what Plan B was. Was a dance off. Yeah. I love it so much. Alternate universe. Um, and yeah, like yeah. ultimately, Mac and his big ass belly. I mean, how sweaty and disgusting they were after is honestly like real life because these dance movies, everybody looks flawless by the end. Yeah. That shit was real. So yeah, I appreciate I appreciated yeah. that perspective um, and them doing it as well. Uh, and I love the fact. That they revealed even further because I kept waiting and you guys did such a good job of not spoiling it so kudos to you but I was like at what point are we going to find out whether Dennis was popular or not are they going to reveal yeah, this yeah. and we got the insight as well that it wasn't Tim or Tom that slept with his date it was fucking Matt all of it just worked for me just to show how dysfunctional this group of uh, friends have always been yeah. and they are just delusional as far as who they are and how people perceive them so a really great uh, season seven finale. Absolutely have no idea how they can continue this level of pushing the envelope and funniness for like 17 more seasons. But yeah. I'm ready to check out season. I can't wait to jump into season eight. Yeah. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Always Sunny season seven, episode 13, the season finale. And until next time, people, peace.